Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, here's a, a relatively long email asking what I think is a pretty straightforward question, but the writer does a good job of explaining, kind of providing the receipts, if you will. And I think the answer is going to be equally quick and short, but I can provide some receipts too. So let's get to it. Uh, it says, hey Perch, whenever there's online drama, almost always it's between writers, rarely artists. Some writers, or some artists, sure, but it feels like a 10 to 1 ratio of crazy writers to artists. Like, nobody had a beef with Neil Adams, nobody had a bad word to say about Greg Capullo or Jorge Jimenez, Sandoval, Miki, Sharp, Otley, and so on. When we hear about unprofessionalism, too, it's usually writers like tweeting when should be writing. I'd imagine the job of an artist takes more time, and maybe, uh, you know, maybe they are like that we just don't hear it because they're busy drawing. But even at cons, there's more drama with the writers. Nobody is ever like, I went up to say uh, hi to Liam Sharp, and uh, he told me to go fuck myself because I lifted my mask to say hi. They might be annoyed at you rushing a sketch, but that's pretty reasonable. Are artists more stable people than writers or what? On the list of crazy in comics, it's like writers are the most crazy, then editors are middling crazy, and then the artists are chill. I like how there's an entire range here. Like crazy, middling crazy, chill. Okay. Where are colorists fit into that? I don't know. Just an observation. Artists have been nothing but pleasant to me and others on Twitter, while writers can be douchebags with very little provocation. Am I imagining this? It's not 100%, just a trend. And I find people who can do both, like Neil Adams, Liam Sharp, Walt Simonson, are, or were in Adams' case, that's sad, the most chill by far. Not all writers are crazy, and not all artists are wonderful, but this does seem to be a trend. Or I guess a better way to put it than crazy is writers seem more likely to be a diva drama queen. Okay. That's male. So, um, the short answer, what is it, uh, you know, uh, busy hands aren't crazy hands? Is that the way it goes? Or... Uh, uh, you know, idle, idle hands are crazy hands, I, whatever it happens to be. Look, um, the job, I mean, the, the very simple point, which you say yourself, is the job of an artist is more labor intensive and requires more focus than an artist, than a writer. A writer can write bits of the story, can come up with the imagination, do a lot of the work in their mind, kind of get the script all put together, and then sit down and write it out. And, and of course, writers do revisions and other things. It's not like writers can just kind of, you know, tap on their phone a plot, although I know a pretty popular writer who did just that. They used the notes feature on their phone, and they would go out and do various things, and then they would, like, tap out good parts of the comic on their phone. And that, that, that can be a thing. Uh, but in general, uh, writers get to think, imagine, and you know, they can drive around, they can tweet, they can do other things. And in a lot of cases, a writer can say something like, you know, especially with current comics, you know, character uh, breaks into a room. Panels of character looking around awkwardly. Sh scene, empty room. More panels of the character looking awkwardly. Final, final panel, uh, character says, I guess I got the wrong room. And, and that, see, I just wrote a page of comic. And for an artist, it's going to take a day for them to draw that. Yeah, or depending, if you're Mark Bagley, it takes you like 12 minutes. But but most artists are going to take them like a, a day to do that. And so, you know, when an artist has to get to work, they can't draw. I mean, they can imagine kind of what the page is going to look like in their mind. They can do some thing there. But, but generally speaking, the artist is going to have to put pen to paper a lot faster than a writer. So even if they'd like to spend more time on social media or whatever it happens to be fucking around... You know, that is time spent away from working. Whereas with a writer, you could, in theory, surf Twitter and come up with ideas for your story simultaneously. Uh, not, that I'm, I'm not that I think they do, but you can do that. And so as a result, I mean, if, you, if you're busier, if, if you're, your hands are not idle because you got a lot of work to do, then, you know, you tend to get involved in less bullshit because you just you, you reasonably do not have time for it. The same thing's kind of true at cons, is an artist will, you know, sell art, can sell commissions, can sell original art, lots of different things that the artist can do. And uh, the, you know, the writer, you know, the, the writer can, kind of, they, they, every now and then the writers like try and sell a script or something, but it's not the same. And so if you're at a con, if you're at a, you know, if you're there, 
the artist views everybody coming up to them as a potential customer. Everybody coming in has money that could, in theory, be spent. Now, some artists are definitely grumbly, and you know, you, it's not to say everybody's super cheerful, but it is, it's just a different dynamic. When everybody who's coming up has the potential to hand cash to you, it's going to make you different from a writer where if you're at a con, I mean, nobody's going to be handing you cash at any point. So, you, you know, you're, you, you can, in theory, treat customers however you want. It's not going to matter. Now, if this is short-term thinking versus long-term thinking. Absolutely, if writers are going to be on books and the writer's name is going to be on that book and you treat people like, like a jackass, People will stop buying the book, but you know that process I described, and I really wish people would get this in their heads. You know, a lot of people online who are like, "I had a bad reaction. I'm not buying the book anymore, and therefore, you know, they should be fired." Keep in mind, it, it doesn't work that way. I, a writer is writing a script to a book six to you know four to six months ahead of that book being created, drawn, inked, colored, printed, distributed. I mean, you're, it's going to be a long time, and, and I think that also plays into it. Writers know that you know if they if they mouth off on social media, it's not going to affect them tomorrow. They've still got books coming out. They still have work they're going to get paid for. Now, you know, if they're smart, they're thinking long term and think, you know, if I really mouth out off, act like a jackass, you know, ruin my reputation, it's going to hurt me. But 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 a lot of but a lot of people don't think far ahead. Especially in comics where a lot of people have the mentality that it really doesn't matter anyway because the money is so low. Even if you get, you know, quote unquote fired from it, does it really matter? Sadly, I mean, for a lot of people, I think the answer is no. So, you know, that that's basically it. I mean, artists have several ways they make money, both from the publisher and selling commissions, selling original art, so on. So there's lots of customer opportunities. And they're busy all day. The combination of those two keep artists a lot more sane. Now, somebody is going to come into the comments wanting to talk about Mark Brooks. And I can, I mean, I, I think that actually kind of still proves a point a little bit because, you know, if you're a cover artist, you, you have, you, you, you have less to do than somebody who's doing, you know, 22 pages of interiors every month. You know, it's, it's, you are doing less. So you have more time. And I mean, that's, that's really what all this comes down to. If you have the time to fuck around, chances are you will fuck around. So, you know, if, 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 you're, if you're kept busy, you're likely going to be in a better spot. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a simple answer to your question. Busy hands make for smarter, better hands and better people. So, uh, you know, what, is there a solution to this? Not really, you know, but... The people who have the least to do, or rather, you know, can't, I, the, the, the people who have the least labor intensive job, uh, those are going to be the people who have way more time to make a mess. And in many cases, they will. I could get all psycho, you know, psychologists around this and say that, you know, artists have to visualize the world. And so as a result, they're going to be more empathetic to somebody who's just writing a story. But I, I mean, I, I don't buy that. I think. I, I, I don't buy that at all. I think this is purely, I've got spare time. I, I'm going to use that spare time for mischief. There you have it. Um, whereas if you're an artist, you're like, I mean, every second that I'm spending working on this. You know, flat. It, it, it's just, it's, it's different. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is my theory hold up? What's your theory? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and thanks for listening.